the pericardial friction rub is basically when you are using a stethoscope to listen to the heartbeat you'll be able to hear a louder sound which is divided into three components it's usually louder than the heartbeat itself it consists of one systolic and two diastolic sounds and if you can see from the diagram we have the pericardium which is a double walled sac and in between there is pericardial fluid and when we have this inflammatory response it basically increases the size the size of the walls so there's less fluid in between because of the enlarged walls so they basically rub together and this is one of the key diagnostic features of pericarditis because then these two walls rubbing against each other result in this sound which is heard through oscillation and this sound is known as the pericardial friction rub Another sign of pericarditis is Cosmol sign, which is where we have a rise in jugular venous pressure on inspiration, or we can have a failure in the fall of the jugular venous pressure with inspiration. It's not normal for the jugular venous pressure to rise during inspiration, but it's seen in the cases of pericarditis. And it's a key sign which shows that the right ventricle is not being filled properly and this is the case especially in constrictive pericarditis where the ventricles are not being filled properly.